And he's so sharp, he sneezes razor blades. Wearing an ice cream sweater, too. Sitting right next to me, Michigan Congressman Thaddeus McCotter. I like to call him Congo. Congressman or Congo? This must mean Fox News is doing something right. And yes, I am blowing my own horn. I think it's all about me. Yes, that's why you take <laughs> yoga. But look, let's, let's be serious. How can you be objective about Al-Qaeda in the sense that Gaddan uses it, whereby you are not objective? Mm -hmm. That you don't recognize them as the bloodthirsty murderers that they are. In, in fairness, I think Fox A should take this as a badge of honor. Yeah. And B, I think the other networks should really look at their PR department and say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I, I think in all seriousness, Greg, on this topic, topic, Bin Laden does not understand the United States. Yes. If the president, some heinous act were to occur to him, the country would mourn him. We would comfort the family. We would unite behind the next president of the United States to bring these people to justice. Yeah. So let Bin Laden rot in hell, and he can take it on with him. Look, I at, look at the problem that Bin Laden had, like the idiot Fuhrer before him. He was a lunatic, mm -hmm. reduced to raving in a bunker. Yeah. And the things that he was saying about U.S. Muslims participating shows, again, his fundamental ignorance of the America, of Americans. And I would take heart from the fact that the reason Al-Qaeda had to rebrand was because of Muslim pushback on Al-Qaeda for exactly what it was. A yeah, it's a he was trying to, to he actually everyone. took, I think they mm -hmm. took the word Al-Qaeda out of the rebranded name and put back in Jihad. I think there was something Congo about people desiring capitalism. I pay for a service, fair and square, and this touchy feeling, I don't know, is almost what I would call Starbucks socialism. <laughs> I keep saying that, hope, I keep saying that, hoping what? that it will catch on. I've said it six times this week and no one cares. Well, Gogo, I think the mistake that she made <laughs> was putting herself in a position where, as you point out, there were people who moved in for a period of time when the economy went down, they left. Now, I don't know what you would charge for Greek food. I usually know how I feel after I eat it. <laughs> I love Greek so, food so I, for that I, reason. <laughs> yes, and I, I generally use my money on anything to ameliorate how I feel <laughs> yes. after I have I, Greek leaves and moussaka. I love hummus. I love hummus. Anna, what do Does you make? Does he know that? What? Does Mr. Hummus know that? No, yes, I haven't told him yet. <laughs>so for me, it's nothing new from the UN, and it's just another opportunity where Americans get to realize that the more money we give them, we're paying for the opportunity to get kicked in the teeth again. I just wish I knew what Tammany Hall was. Uh, down the street, it was down the street, it was the tiger, represented by the tiger, it was a democratic machine. Or does that make you feel like all we are doing is breeding an entitled society, it's true. And, and that we're going to expect to have everything laid out for us as we very, move on? Very good point, Congressman. I don't know you can top that, but I'm waiting. <laughs> Yo! Oh. Still yeah, he agrees. No, no. Still the waiting. fact is, America is the easiest place to move from, uh, you know, move from one economic plane to the other. Yes, Isn't it is. Isn't that a fact? <laughs> Can I take that on, right? I think I, I yes, know. America is the most prosperous and equitable economy in human history. We have problems. Some people just don't get how the free market works, let yeah. alone have discernible skills to put out there for people to use. Yeah, you listen to him, Blondie. But in the end, <laughs> you. I was. You, I was. Mm, oh. He's talking. But the point is, is that we should take, not take for granted what we have here. We should try to improve upon it. And the increase in American prosperity, especially through exports, especially through free market ideals, will help lift the economies of these other countries. True. So their people can rise Bingo. up to a standard of living like we have in Teach the United States. Teach men to fish. Exactly. No, let's, I, let's not get into my political views too much. Okay. <laughs> Andy, continue to focus on our political views. Okay. Uh, Congressman, you made the point about bin Laden not understanding America regarding how we would react if our pre president were assassinated, that he doesn't didn't realize that it's far more likely that what it, what it would have done is bring us together, which is great, except I was going to make the same point, so you kind of screwed me. Well, well let's not get into my political views. <laughs> yeah, no, we wouldn't want to do that. We wouldn't want to do that. I'm with Anna. Yeah. Let's talk about my Pilates routine. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pilates. Yeah. How's that going, by the way? I, I took the Pontius Pilates, and it just keeps backfiring on me. Uh, do you think we should, should we kick the UN out of the country? Is it time for that? No, but I think we should start a liberty alliance with other free nations. We should reduce our contributions to the UN to that which the lowest tyrannical nation pays. Because in the end, Andy, as you know, 
We're outnumbered at the UN. Non-free countries are in a majority as opposed yeah. to free countries. This is not Franklin Roosevelt's dream, yeah. nor is it Mr. Gutfeld's dream of a gerbil on a treadmill chasing world peace. <laughs> it ain't on a treadmill. Yeah, and it ain't chasing world peace. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the correct, the correct answer to that question would have been yes. 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 I told you, don't bring my political views into this. <laughs> Uh, Why are you eating got, that like Mickey Rourke in nine and a half weeks? I got four. <laughs> <laughs> you're eating, eating it like a mailman at a bar no, 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 at four no. in the morning. You were only looking at it that way. You were Mike Ambassador. By the way, I've eaten four of these. This is I my think What are you, you cool hand loop? Hey, Congressman, how's your monthly view from the Capitol segment doing on DC News, uh, News Channel 8? I think we have, we have a picture of your co-host, I think. Yes, that's her. That's Ms. Catherine Amenta, illicitly touching the statue of Richard Stockton there mm -hmm. in the Capitol Rotunda. You can see more of this type of scoff lawing about. Uh, you, guys go, you guys go crazy. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, view from the Capitol, Monday or March 27th of this month, or you can view more of them on my tab on my Facebook page, Representative Thaddeus McCotter. I warn you, be very careful, or she'll send her goons, Van de Graaff and Kasky, to deal with you. Hysterical. I don't know what that means. How drunk are you guys when you do that show? Oh, we're not drunk on anything but life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's that new bourbon, huh? Life, yeah. Yeah. life no. bourbon. Yeah. It's back hey. when men were men and you never have been. Oh, hey, come Anna. On. <laughs> we got to go. Andy, Bye. thank you. Anna, Bill, Liz. Congressman, that is McCotter. That's it for me. <laughs>